This Android Studio How To's tutorial, I will cover what build dependencies are, as well as the different types and how they are implemented. So Android Studio, ha I mean Android Developers has documentation for adding build dependencies and you can go to this link over here. But essentially if you read it, it just says that um, the greater build system in Android makes it easy to include external binaries or other library modules to your build as dependencies. And the dependencies can be located on your machine or in a remote repository. So that's essentially the important stuff. And now if we scroll down, you can see the different dependency types. And one is the local module dependency, which is a library. And to implement that, you would use implementation project and the name of your library. Additionally, you can implement binary dependencies such as jar, uh, jar files, which contain other Java files that you can then use in your project. And that would be implemented by doing implementation file tree and then providing this information as well. And then finally, the last way to do it would be a remote binary dependency, which is something that maybe you don't have installed on your device. And maybe you're using something from Firebase, like one of their dependencies, or somebody's dependency from GitHub that they've open sourced. In order to implement that, what you would do is use this over here. And in addition to this, documentation also shows you what the, short, the shorthand means. So this over here, the com.example.android is referring to the group, while AppMagic is referring to the name and the version would be 12.3. So a great example of this is, as I mentioned, Firebase's SDKs, which I will be covering in a future course in Android development on how to add Firebase to your Android app. But essentially over here, you can see that they have some Gradle dependencies. In order to implement this, you would go to build.gradle in Android Studio and then say implementation com.google.firebase, Firebase auth 18.1.0. And this is the version number, this is the name, and this over here would be the group, as we saw from the documentation. So now that I covered what dependencies are, which are basically um, giving you an, a way to add library modules to your uh, build and external binary files, I'm going to cover how to actually add them to your Android Studio project. So I'm going to open up one of my GitHub projects. It's a face analyzer app that's also on the Google Play Store. And I'm just going to copy the, the implementation that I used for the Microsoft Face API. So I'm going to go to build.gradle over here. And you can see that in order to implement this, because the, because the dependency was actually a remote binary dependency, I had to use something similar to what we see over here, where I say implementation, then the group name, then the name of the actual dependency, and then the version number over here. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to go to Android Studio. So over here, I'm in my app level build.gradle file. And the way that you get to that is you go on the left side and you see Gradle scripts and you click on uh, build.gradle where it says module app. Once you've done so, we're going to go inside our dependencies, which is located at the bottom. And then I'm just going to zoom in over here and um, paste this dependency. And this is for the Microsoft Face API. We're not going to do much with it, um, but I'm going to create a, a course on it in the future on how to use the Microsoft Face API for facial recognition and emotion uh, detection and those kind of things. So stay tuned for that. Now you can see that this blue bar has appeared at the top Seeing Gradle files have uh, changed since last project sync. A project sync may be necessary for the IDE to work properly. So we're going to zoom in over here and then click on sync now. And that will take a while to run. You can see that the build um, tab over here opened and it shows that it's being uh, it's syncing right now. So it's finished syncing. And we can begin to use this face API by just going on over to main activity and now I can create a new face object. I'm going to type F-A-C-E you can see that one of the things that appears over here, one of the options that I can uh, import is the one from the Microsoft uh, dependency that we just added, com.microsoft.projectoxford.face.contract. And that wasn't there before we added the dependency. So if we were to go and remove this dependency, we wouldn't be able to get that option. Now I'm going to cover how to add um, dependencies to another method. So one way to add Android dependencies, such as the one you see over here for constraint layouts, as well as app compat is to head on over to file in the top left corner and click on that. And you should see project structure over here. So I'm gonna click on project structure. And then this opened up over here, this dialog. And I'm going to click on dependencies on the left. Once I click on that, you can see that there's a list of all the dependencies that we already have in our project. So this, these are some of the ones I have in my project. And you can see here, it even shows the Microsoft Face API, which we added earlier. Now what I'm going to do is add some other dependencies by clicking on the plus sign over here. Not the modules over here, but underneath all dependencies, I'm, I'm going to add a new one. 
And now we can specify whether it's a library dependency or a jar dependency. And you can see that if it's a jar dependency, what you have to do is copy and paste the file, uh, I mean the path, to where your jar file is located. That way Android Studio can add it. And if it's a library dependency, it will search in the in the project's um, build files, like it says over here. So Google J Center Android Repository, Google Repository. And I'm going to show you what this means, what it, uh, what it means by this stuff over here. So I'm just going to cancel and cancel. And then we're going to go to our project level build.gradle file underneath Gradle scripts. And if you look over here, it says here repositories. Google and JCenter, as is mentioned in the dialog box. So if you want to add libraries by going to File and Project Structure, you can uh, you have to refer to the uh, libraries that are located in these repositories. That's all for this Android Studio How To tutorial. You learned what build dependencies are and the different ways to add them to your Android Studio project by either doing it through File and then Project Structure or using Remote Binary Dependency. Until the next tutorial, happy developing from IJ Apps.